What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and guess what? So I was looking around my iPhones and I dug up an old iPhone 5S running the very first iOS 8 firmware. And that got me thinking, how does the very first firmware of iOS 8 compare to all the later updates? So in this video, I'm gonna be comparing iOS 8 to iOS 8.1.3 to iOS 8.2 beta 5 and iOS 8.3 beta 2. So these betas are the most current ones available. Of course, iOS 8.1.3 is the current firmware and 8.0 is where it all started. So I'm going to be comparing this on an iPhone 5S, basically running some speed tests, seeing how far iOS 8 has come since its original initiation. Now, iOS 8.0 was probably one of the most unstable and buggiest releases I've ever used. Apple did fix it, they released some minor updates after then to make it a little bit better, but it was probably the benchmark of low, so I'm really curious how Apple improved after then. Now, 8.1.3 is the current firmware, it was released to optimize the OS size, so it reduced the amount of memory the iOS update used, and overall it's a very stable firmware, no complaints here. Now iOS 8.2 Beta 5 is the newest version of the Beta series, it's almost complete and there is nothing different. I mean all it is is inside of the Bluetooth settings, just it'll lead you to the Apple Watch. There has been no noticeable change, it's just a prepare your device for the Apple Watch. Now after this comes the iOS 8.3 update, which actually had a lot of changes. Siri is improved, it can speak new languages, you now have new emoticons and emoticon setting page. So if I just want to show you that, you actually have these guys right here, which you can slide through like this, and if you want to change the color of someone, just hold them. <laughs> That's really cool right there. So there are a number of changes in 8.3, and it's actually reported to be a lot faster on older devices, especially on the iPhone 5 and 4S. So really curious to put this to the test. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the very first test I will be running is a startup test. These are all wired to the exact same adapter. So as soon as I click on it, they will all power on at the exact same moment. Now they have all been reset to their factory settings. There's not a thing on them except for the two application tests we will be running and not that it matters, but these are all 5S CDMA models. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this test. All right, so all going off right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the adapter in three, two, one. And these devices should be powering on at the exact same time. Now, my predictions are iOS 8.0 is gonna be the last with 8.3 being the first and then 8.1.3 and Wow, surprisingly, 8.2 is in the lead. So it looks like it's a really close call, but it was 8.2, 8.1.3, and then 8.3, and lastly, 8.0. So I was right on one of them, at least. A little bit surprising, but iOS 8.0, of course, was a given that it would be last. All right, so with all applications cleared out of the app switcher, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to launch some applications at the very same time. So with camera first, now App Store, I know this is one of the most uh, processor intensive applications to load. Well, that was surprising, 8.0 and then 8.2, 8.1.3 and 8.3. All right, so uh, anyways, let's go ahead and run a Geekbench and a Wi-Fi speed test to see how these actually compare when it comes down to numbers. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run the Geekbench test first. As you guys can see, these are all of the firmwares that belong to these devices, 8.0, 8.1.3, 8.2, 8.3. So I'm gonna go ahead and run these guys, and once it does finish, I will be right back. And here are the raw Geekbench results. I'm impressed, I mean, wow, there is literally very little difference, 8.2 being in the lead by two points above 8.1.3. So uh, I don't really see this being a noticeable change, but in terms of stability, that's not something you can measure. That's something you gotta use and then you'll see. But speed-wise, these are pretty much almost all the same. Now, I will be performing a test similar to this on the 4S and we definitely will be seeing more of a difference there. So lastly, I wanna go ahead and run a Wi-Fi speed test see how all of these devices compare. I do have the Airport Extreme, the latest version, and I'm gonna go ahead and run each of these tests one at a time. Now, these results are a bit impressive. So iOS 8.0 was 
actually better than 8.1.3 was. All of the upload speeds are roughly the same. It's the download speeds where things start to vary. So 8.0 to 8.0.3, we saw a decrease on 8.1.3 and then a steady increase on each beta. Now, if Apple is really making changes to the Wi-Fi, I'm impressed because I can already see the results thanks to these tests. So Wi-Fi speeds do vary greatly better on the newer betas. So guys, that's just about it. That's my comparison between iOS 8.0, 8.1.3, 8.2 beta 5, and 8.3 beta 2. I'm actually pretty impressed with the new betas. They did very well compared to the older firmwares. iOS 8.0 isn't too bad when it comes to speed. It's the stability where that firmware lacks. But overall, good job, Apple. We're making steady progress. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Have a great day. Peace.